World Health Organization officials denied that the body was China centric and said that the acute phase of a pandemic was not the time to cut funding after US President Donald Trump said he would put contributions on hold. The United States is the top donor to the Geneva based body, which Trump said had issued but advised during the new coronavirus outbreak. U.S. contributions to WHO in 2019 exceeded $400 million, almost double the second largest country donor, according to the figures from the U.S. State Department. China contributed $44 million, it said. We are still in the acute phase of a pandemic, so now it is not the time to cut back on funding. Dr. Bruce Evald, senior advisor to the WHO, General Director also defended the UN agency's relationship with China, saying it worked with Beijing authorities was important to understand the outbreak which began in Yuan in December. It was absolutely critical in the early part of this outbreak to have full access to everything possible to get on ground and work with the Chinese to understand this. This is what we did with every other hard hit country like Spain and had nothing to do with China specifically. China worked very hard very early on once it understood what it was dealing with to try and identify and detect all potential cases to make sure that they got tested to trace all those contacts and make sure they were quarantined so they actually knew where the virus was. Then they made it very clear that these people would not and could not travel within the country let alone internationally. If the WHO loses its funding it cannot continue to do work. It works on a shoestring budget already. Of course, it would be disastrous for the who to lose funds.